overflows. Tao overflows. Understand the essence of no mind. In the process of growth, pictures and languages are associated with one another and both play an important role. Look at the book of a child. There are larger pictures and larger fonts. As a result, when the child sees mango, he knows it is a mango. And he starts learning that underneath the picture of mango, there is a certain word written to describe it, to describe what is there in the picture. Slowly and slowly he becomes associated. As the child grows, the pictures start disappearing and by the time he enters the university, pictures will disappear from the book and only language will remain. Look at your television sets and introspect. Television has taken humanity back into a primitive age, primitive stage, because people are again looking at the pictures. There is a danger in the future. It is already apparent that people have stopped reading great literature. Who bothers to read when you can see the film on TV? This is a dangerous phenomenon because there are things which cannot be reproduced in pictures. Remember, great literature can only be partially reproduced in pictures. The danger is that people will start forgetting the language and the beauty and its magic and they will again become primitive watching the television. Now, average American and modern day person watches television for seven and a half hours every day. This is going to destroy something which we have achieved with great difficulty. Now this man who is watching television for seven and a half hours per day, if you are not watching television, you are watching YouTube and other things. You cannot expect this person to read William Shakespeare, Ravindranath Tagore, Herman Hayes, Martin Bobber, or Paul Sartre. The greater the literature, the less is the possibility of putting it into pictures. Pictures are colorful, exciting, and easy to understand but they are no comparison with the language in any way. The future has to be protected from many things. Computers can destroy people's memory system because there will be no need. You can keep a small computer to the size of a cigarette packet in your pocket. It contains everything that you will ever need to know. Now there is no need for you to have your own memory. Just push a button and the computer is ready to give you any information that you may need. Computer can destroy the whole memory system of humanity that has taken centuries to develop with great difficulty. Television can take away great literature and the possibility of persons, poets, authors like William Shakespeare, Shelley, Byron, Keats, Wordsworth and others in different languages. These are great inventions, but nobody has looked at their implications. They have reduced the entire humanity into a retardedness. 
certainly there are moments when one wants to know what are the indications that you are on the right path. It is always a question for the seeker whether he is moving in the right direction or not. There is no security, no insurance and no guarantee of any kind. All the dimensions are open and it is difficult to know how to choose the right path. Sometimes one wonders how to choose or know that he is on the right path. There are ways and the criteria of how one has to choose. If you move on any path, any methodology, and it brings joy to you, more sensitivity, more watchfulness, gives you a feeling of immense well-being and blissfulness. This is the only criteria that you are going on the right path. If you become more miserable, more angry, more egoistic, more greedy or more lustful, these are sure the indications that you are moving on a wrong path. When on the right path, your blissfulness is going to grow more and more with each moment and your experiences of beautiful feelings will become tremendously psychedelic, more colorful, colors that you have never seen in the world, fragrance that you have never experienced before. Then you can walk the path without any fear that you can go wrong. And this is the only criteria. If in, along any path you are feeling more blissful, you are on the right path. These inner experiences will keep you always on the right path. So always focus on inner experiences. Just remember that if they are growing, that means you are moving more that you are moving now you have only a few moments of thoughtfulness at the moment it is not simple to attain to the moments of thoughtfulness instead it is a great achievement because people in their entire life do not know even a single moment when there is no thought. Those gaps will grow. If it has already started growing, that means, that is a criteria that you are on the right path. Because more and more, that means you are more and more centered and more watchful and as this happens, these gaps will start growing bigger and bigger and the day is not far away. If you go on moving without looking back, without going astray, without a second thought, if you keep going straight, the day is not far away when you will feel for the first time the gaps have become so big, hours will pass and not even a single thought will arise in your mind. Or even if it arises, it will not disturb you. No thought will disturb you from your the state of blissfulness. Now you are having bigger experience of no mind. The ultimate achievement is when for 24 hours, you are surrounded with no mind, you are overflowing blissfulness, you are overflowing, the love is overflowing 24 hours in an environment around you. This does not mean that you cannot use the mind. 
that is a fallacy propounded by those who know nothing about the no mind or those who have not experienced the moment of blissfulness within. No mind does not mean that now you cannot use the mind. Instead, it simply means that you have put the mind aside and mind cannot use you anymore. Mind is no more a servant. Mind is no more your master. No mind does not mean that mind is destroyed. It simply means that mind is put aside. You can bring it into action any moment you need to communicate with the outer world. For inner world to communicate, you do not need the mind. You need the silence, which is the fragrance of no mind. And the mind will become your servant. Right now, as it is, it is your master. Even when you are sitting alone, it goes on and on uninterruptedly. You cannot do anything about it. You are so utterly helpless. No mind simply means the mind has been put in its right place. As a servant, it is a great instrument. However, as a master, it is very unfortunate. It is dangerous and will destroy your whole life. Mind is only a medium when you want to communicate with others and when you are alone there is no need of the mind. So whenever you want to use it, you can use it. And remember one thing more, when the mind remains silent for certain hours, it becomes fresh, young, more creative, more sensitive and rejuvenated through the rest, just as your body feels fresh and rejuvenated after rest, so too the mind. Ordinary people's mind starts somewhere around three to four years of age and then continues for 70, 80, 90 long years without a single holiday or rest. Naturally, they cannot be creative. They are utterly tired and tired with all the rubbish that is going on. Millions of people in the world live without any creativity. Creativity is one of the greatest blissful experience, but their minds are so tired that they, there is no energy overflowing. The man of no mind keeps his mind at rest full of energy, immensely sensitive, ready to jump into action the moment it is ordered. It is not a mere coincidence that the people who have experienced no mind, their worlds start having a magic of their own. When they use the mind, it has a charisma, it has a magnetic force, it has tremendous spontaneity and freshness of the dew drop in the early morning before the sun rises. The mind is nature's most evolved medium of expression and creativity. So the man of meditation or in other words, the man of no mind, even his prose turns into poetry without any effort. Words become so full of authority that they do not need any argument. They just flow into you. They become, they become their own arguments. The force that they carry becomes a great, becomes self-evident truth. There is no need for any other support from logic or from any scriptures. The words of a man of no mind have an intrinsic certainty about them. If you are ready to receive and listen, you will feel it flowing into your heart. It is and flowing into your heart as self-evident truth enough for you.